for Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Sleep, reporting from the Orlando Dermatology Aesthetic and Clinical Conference. Dr. Susan Taylor discussed the use of injectables in patients with skin of color. Many women of color do not have fine lines and wrinkles, but rather they have loss of volume of the skin with descent of the malar fat pads, prominence of the nasal labial fold, prominence of the tear troughs. So those are the very areas that are appropriate for injections of women with skin of color and men as well. For patients with skin of color, pigmentary disorders are very important to consider. So for example, it's important to warn your patient about the possibility of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation as well as post-inflammatory hypopigmentation, both of which have been found to occur after injectable fillers. One shouldn't be as concerned about keloidal scarring, but I would still advise you to warn your patients about that possibility. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet.